Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Oh, boy. I am back in Joe Boo's man cave. You know, if you want to maybe blame somebody for the Cowboys losing, um, I always wear a Cowboys jersey, and I didn't have one because I was at the Red Brick House. All my jerseys were here. And so the next time, I'm going to make sure I take one and have it down there um, for the game. Maybe that's what it was, that we messed up with the football gods and things like that. I don't know. But all I know was it was bad. So I'm back here. I know that um, E2 Blue will be here in the house. Um, I'm sure Dem Boys kicks and so on. And David Wiley, I think with us playing Baltimore, it's going to cost a pretty penny, but we're going to have to do a crab cake sub. We're going to have to do a crab cake sub um, for the game and see if that helps us to turn this thing around because we need this win bad. We really and truly need this win bad. Um, a little bit of an update here, or at least a little bit more news. Uh, been on the road for the last two and a half hours so i'm just getting back here and getting caught up at the moment we don't have an update on mozzie smith on his um injury how bad it is but what we're told is mozzie smith's back was tightening up he was having some back spasms so um maybe that's not so bad the interesting thing here with jordan phillips um who we traded for from the Giants was we were told that he had a wrist injury and was going on injured reserve. Allegedly, Jordan Phillips let the cat out of the bag that, no, my wrist is fine. No, my wrist is fine. We're okay. Um, here's where it's kind of interesting because we did not do good against uh, the, the Saints at all. And if we go by the boys at Pro Football Focus – Pro Football Focus has gone through and ranks our defensive run stoppers, our defensive line, after the first two games. And here's where we're rated. This is not good at all. This is not good at all. Um, Jordan Phillips, who was just put on injured reserve, ranked as the 124th best defensive tackle. Yeah. Yeah. Mozzie Smith ranked as 123rd. Osa Indigazua was 119th. And the highest rated, boy, boy, the highest rated interior defensive lineman was Linville Joseph, who just got here at 117. So, here's what you got to think. There's 32 teams in the NFL. Most teams will have like, you know, two or three defensive tackles. So, if you say you got two defensive tackles from every team, that's 64. Let's say you got three defensive tackles on each team. Okay, if we say each team has three defensive tackles, that's 96. See where I'm going here? You see where I'm going here, right? You could literally go through and take every other team that's out there right now. Now, this, this is where we got to turn some shit around. You could take every team out there, minus the Cowboys, and you could say... They had three defensive tackles. You take all of the, the the three defensive tackles in each of those teams, which would be the starters. It's ninety three. Still ain't got to the Cowboys. You literally, if you go through and say there's four defensive tackles per team. That's where you would literally get to where our guys are ranked. Son, we got to do better than this. If we have any, and I mean any, 
thoughts of being in the playoffs or doing anything in the playoffs. We have to change that. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. We have to do better than, you know, we got to at least get in the top 100 with somebody, with somebody, anybody. This is pathetic, and this is unacceptable. This is truly unacceptable. Um, If there's any good news, and I guess this is where Philly 500 was kind of chastising me and saying he's not happy because his team was terrible and, and nothing else matters. It doesn't matter if the Cowboys lost or anything else. I guess that's true. But in the end, it doesn't matter if your team is sucking like we both have. But you can say that there's maybe more suckage that even as bad as this looks right here, that the Eagles' defensive line, we've given up like 277 yards in two games um, running the football. That's, that's, that's bad. That's bad. You know, you don't want to give up more than 100 yards. Now, granted, we gave up, I think, 98 the first week. The second week was abysmal. But even with this abysmal game, giving up seven, 277 yards, I think the Eagles are somewhere around 319 or 321. So they've given up even more yards on the ground than what we have. So there's that. But um, if we um, if we don't do better than that, we've got no chance. Now, now the, the good news, I guess you could say, is um, the Eagles are a mess. Contrary to all the talking heads out there, you know, picking the Eagles to win the division and that they are a talented team and everything else. They've got a lot of flaws right there, too. They have Jalen Hurts has had more turnovers than anybody else in the NFL since the beginning of last year, 25. And it doesn't look like that's changing anytime soon. He's already had four this year. Um, they are two and nine out of their last 11 games. So you've got a chance to win your division, even if you're not real good. That's not to say that you're going to be good enough to do anything in the playoffs, but at least you have a chance. If you can win your division, that's the first thing that you got to do. But if we don't do better than what we're doing here on the defensive line, it's going to be rough. It's going to be really, really rough. So let's hope that they can get their shit together. And turn this thing around. All right, good people. As always, I appreciate y'all just getting back here and getting the car unloaded. But I wanted to deal with this uh, situation first. And uh, we dealt with it. And now we're on to something else. Peace out.